So that's why I end on my panel, okay? Then I'll say, okay, let's go through and I'll give you your options. Okay. Notice what did I say about the larger dollar amount? Don't shoot the messenger. I know, especially you high S's and I's too probably are so scared of the homeowner flipping out when you present a $38,000 option. But that's what the house needs. It's not your house. It's not your money. It's not up to you whether you, they buy it or not. You're just giving them the information. Landscape companies sell 30 to 40, 50, 100 thousand dollar jobs every day. Do you think they're like, oh God, I'm not going to present a 40 thousand dollar job for all new siding and all new windows and a new deck? Do you think they worry about it? No. Why do you worry about it? It's because you're in your own way. That's why. You actually said don't shoot the messenger. Is that is that? What yeah, I'll say that. I mean, I'll say whatever. Just just so he understands that. I'm giving him all the options. Don't be mad at me, you know? Whatever it takes for you to feel, to feel okay presenting large options, do. Because there's one thing I know, if you don't present a $38,000 job, you're not gonna sell a $38,000 job. That I do know. So if you have guys at your company that are selling these big jobs, and you're like, I don't know how they do it. How do they do it? I'll tell you how they do it. They frickin' present them. That's what they do. And you need to too. But what you're worried about is them flipping out on you about the price. That's what you're worried about. And I know that because I've ran thousands of calls, and even though I'm a D, I even worried about it a little bit. But if you say, I give you all your options, the top option has everything we talked about. It is a larger dollar amount, so don't shoot the messenger. I just want to give you all your options. Yeah. How can they really get that mad after that? I mean, they could, but the odds go down pretty slim. <clears throat> so then we would sit back down, and I would have this either on my iPad or, or I would have it on a piece of paper, whatever you guys do to present your options. I would just really advise that all the options are on one sheet, not that you have to scroll the three options. I don't know everybody's softwares, I don't know what you're on, but if you can't have them all on one page, I would highly suggest just doing it on paper. So my, my first option that we talked about was the diagnostic, which you already agreed to. Mm -hmm. Notice I built my diagnostic in my option. I already sold it, but I built it in my diagnostic or in my option. Why do you think I did that? He's paying for it regardless, yes, and I don't want him to buy a $3,800 or $3,700 job and then me tack another five, dollars $600 on later. I want him to know that this is the out-the-door price for everything, all right? And I'm keeping the diagnostic in there because I'm a good freaking electrician and I deserve to get paid for it. Yeah, well, I, I don't do the service fee. That I'll tack on there because it's just not a lot, but that's just me. If you want to, you could put it in there if you feel better. The TFS, if you want, I don't do that, but if you wanted to do it, you could do it. It's up to you. Yeah. I usually just tack those on at the end, and they usually don't care because they're a lower dollar amount. Um, so, um, so my top option is a diagnostic, which you already agreed to earlier. Um, then I have in there a whole house re-device. So that's putting in all new outlets, all new switches in the whole house. Um, installing that fire guard protection on everything. Mm -hmm. um, if you need, remember earlier I also talked about shot guard protection in the kitchen, you get all that. Um, you get to pick new colors of your outlets and switches. My wife will love that. You guys laugh. I was with a lady once who didn't care about her connections whatsoever, but once I told her she got to pick new colors of outlets and switches, she bought it. That's what she cared about. She wanted different color outlets and switches. If she wanted to spend twenty bucks, thousand dollars to do that, fine by me. Uh, whole house re device, um, that new smoke and carbon monoxide alarm system I told you about, and then installing that new two hundred amp electrical panel. Okay. What you get for that is we're actually going to be restoring twenty eight circuits in your house. Wow. Here's one thing I learned: we 
propose whole house redevices and we don't tell them how many circuits it covers. We tell them about the two circuit restoration and the one circuit restoration, but we don't tell them how many circuits. Look how much value that brings. I'm doing 28 circuits in your house. This is only two. And you know who taught me that? A homeowner taught me that. I was literally going through this once, and he goes, how many circuits do I have in my house? And it dawned on me, yeah, they don't know. And I'm like, I even had to think. I go, I think you have like 23 circuits. He goes, oh, so, so this is 23 circuits, and that's only two? I go, yeah. And he's like, oh, I'll do that one then. I'm like, OK. <laughs> so, so from that point on, I put how many circuits I'm going to restore in my whole house redevice. It builds a ton of value that I didn't even think about. You get all new outlets and switches. You get to choose the cover, like I said. They're all childproof, so kids can't stick anything in them. They actually have uh, a door in there, so if they try to stick something in one door, it won't open. They have to both hit at the same time. You get those. You don't have to use those plastic things in your house anymore. Um, you get that fire guard protection on all the circuits in the whole house. Uh, wireless technology, smoke and carbon monoxide alarm. So like I said, if you had a fire in your basement, the alarm goes off, it sends a signal wirelessly to all the alarms in the house and they all go off. And then we'll give you a three year warranty on all this stuff that you don't have to worry about anymore. And you actually get a lifetime with the 200 amp panel at our company. So that's the first option. The second option is the diagnostic, which you already paid for, and just doing two of the circuits instead of the whole house mm -hmm. and getting that smoke alarm system done. And then my last option is the diagnostic, which you talked about, and then just the one circuit you're having problems on. Mm -hmm. And then I did put at least three alarms in the house. So you won't have them in all the rooms and everything, but at least you're going to have one on each level, so you have some kind of protection in your home. Um, so this is our full price club membership and about $548 a month for the first one. Uh, full price club member and $41 a month and full price club member and $13 a month. Okay. Which option would you like to go with? Uh, the first option is pricey, but there's just so much value that I can't pass it up. Oh, so. you're a great homeowner. <laughs> <laughs> really had to work at this. <laughs> okay, that's great. Notice what I said though. Which option do you want to go with? You have to ask for the sale. And I know it sounds stupid, but I've been in so many role plays and I've been on so many ride-alongs where they don't ask for the sale. They'll literally explain all this and shut up and never ask. I know it sounds dumb, but I see it all the time. You have to ask for the sale. Which, 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 which option would you like to go with? Okay, so he said he wants to go with the top one. Notice I said full price. I didn't say the number. Club member, I didn't say the number, but I did say $548 a month. Um, owners and managers back there, I would highly look into good leap financing. You can stretch everything out for 15 years. I can literally get this for 13 bucks a month. This is actually 15 years on these prices. What's it called again? Good leap financing. Yep. They're the biggest solar financer in America. I did. Correct. Yep. So, because I want this, the total price for today. So I just built it right in there. So you just delete the other one. Sure. Yep. Yep. Right. I just don't want to tack on another 500 bucks on top of this after he chooses an option. I have now completed the diagnostic, yes. And I've done my safety inspection, I've rolled up options, and now I'm presenting. Okay, and only if he says no, then you would create the diagnostic invoice of what you need to do. Correct. Correct. Yes. Yep. Okay. All right, listen up, guys. He included the diagnostic price for the proposal he already completed in all three of these options. And it's 
waiting for the customer's answer. So if the option is the customer chooses none of these options and simply wants to have their diagnostic for the day, we would then just create the flat out invoice of what the customer has already received, which is service fee and diagnostic. Yeah. And that's a great point. When you sell the diagnostic, either get them to initial something on a piece of paper or sign in your software something saying they acknowledge the diagnostic. Because I've had it where the wife or the husband agreed to it and then the spouse comes home all pissed off and there's nothing signed or initialed and it can be a problem. So get, get that initial somewhere. All right, so again, full price, cl full price club membership and write in here whatever the lowest monthly amount you can possibly get this person to get that. All right? Um, like I said, Good Leap, this would be a $7,000 job and it's only $41 a month through Good Leap. And this one's a $2,300 job and it's $13 a month through Good Leap. So I always give them the lowest you can. If you have green sky, I think it's uh, 30, is it, or 90, 84 months. Yeah, so that's like your lowest one. All right. And just so you know, Good Leap is 8.99. Green sky is 9.99. They actually get a percent less interest. Um, okay. Um, so anyway, let's go through this again. But now do you also notice... I put all my features and benefits in my top option. I didn't put anything in these. Why did I do that? I want this one to look more attractive. So I'm going to give all my fabs, my features, advantages, and benefits, I'm going to try to get all that in my top option and not in these two. I want them to want this. I wouldn't do more options, but I kind of agree with you. I'd probably try to make that one higher because that is a big gap. I was more trying to get the shock and awe of a $36,000 job and people flipping it. Okay. But the point is, is that the house needs $38,000. How many people buy cars that are thirty dollars to $40,000? All the time. Does a car depreciate or, or appreciate? They depreciate at a massive rate. So they're spending $40,000 on a car, and it's going to be worth crap in 5 to 10 years, where here they're spending $40,000 on their house, and it's going to make their house worth more. So why are we scared to present the price? We're uncomfortable. Yep. 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 Confident. Be confident. Exactly. You got to be un get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Well, that's my show and tell. So I, I know I'm kind of moving through this fast, but I did do the safety inspection and I verbally did go through all that with them. And if you want to show them the sheet as you go through and show and tell, you can do that. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Well, but we did in my show and tell. Okay. Yeah. So I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I'm definitely not going to propose something unless I explained it fully in my show and tell. Yeah. 
Okay, so let's go through this um, one more time, but give me some objections okay. here. So, which option would you like to go with? Uh, I'm not sure. That's pretty pricey, and I mean, 2300 sounds more reasonable. Okay. Reasonable for, for what? Uh, just a better price. I mean, I'm not really sure what I'm getting with all this. It's a lot of money for what, you know? Oh, sure. Yeah, it is a lot of dollar amount, but th this is a big job. Um, so let me reiterate, if you said you didn't know what you're getting for this. Did, did I not explain it properly to you? Uh, you did, but I mean, the 200 amp panel, is my house going to burn down tonight? Do I need that panel, or should I only go with the $7,000 job? Well, that's a great question. I don't know how long your panel is going to last for sure, and I'm, I'm not going to tell you it's going to burn down tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, all I know is that everything wears out. Yeah. And at some point, whether it's today, tomorrow, or 20 years from now, it's going to have to be changed at some point. Um, what I'm telling you is right now you, it's outdated, mm -hmm. and you don't have the technology to make sure your home is as safe as it could be. I do want my home to be safe. Let's do the 38,000. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm good, but I'm not quite this good. Okay. So give me some more objections. <laughs> uh, my smoke alarms are yellow, but they still work, right? Uh, there's a very good chance they don't work. So anything over 10 years old, um, the, the the odds of them working are very, very slim that they do work because mm -hmm. they are completely expired. Mm -hmm. And you're sure that changing my connections on my outlets, doing the whole house, that'll really improve our safety or, you know? By, by changing your electrical panel, installing whole house surge protection, whole house fire guard protection, and then putting all new outlets and switch in the home, absolutely your house will be much, much safer. Just by changing those breakers will prevent 98% of all electrical fires on those circuits. Just by putting those breakers 98%. in. 98%. Mm-hmm. Because we're going from 1960s technology to today's technology. Hmm. So would you like to go with that top one? How can I not? How can you not? <laughs> okay. And would you like to pay our club membership fee and save a little money or full price? My wife's paying for it. Let's she, do she's paying for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Somebody give me some objection. Yeah, I knew there was one person's like, yeah, all I wanted to. Are you out of your mind? That is literally a thirty thousand dollar job. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Yeah. So did you notice I didn't say anything until he asked me a question? Yeah. I just let him rant. I don't need to defend my prices. I don't need to get in an argument. I don't, all I do is the puppy dog. Turn your head. Hmm. But he did have a question in there. And that's when I can start talking. His question is, why do I need to change all my outlets just because the one? I can answer that. I have an answer for that. And I'll tell them. Well, again, you know, what we talked about earlier is if one goes out, they all go out, right? So we could just change the one, but you could still have all these problems again. And you don't have to do this top one. I mean, that would just take care of everything. We have other options on here. Yeah, no, that's a great question. So then I would go right to here and be like, so our one circuit restoration mm -hmm. is uh, 1366. Is this my phone? Oh, it is. Um, 1366 by 38. So it would be $51,908 if you did everything individually. Or we can get 38000 and you get a whole new panel and smoke alarm system with it. So you definitely get a heck of a price savings by doing them all at once versus just one at a time. 
Yeah, I can give you an option on that. And the circuit, like if we put the panel in the second option. Okay. So you would like an option with a panel and a one circuit restoration? Because by doing that, then I can essentially start repairing or having the circuits replaced as needed. You could do that, sure. So if I'm hearing you correctly, you would like an option with a new panel and a one circuit restoration. Is that right? I'm sorry, what's that? With the two circuits, I'm sorry. Okay, so you want a number two with a panel in it. Okay, great. <laughs> then I'm going to write a fourth option, and I'll list all that in there and give a full price club membership and a monthly amount. And then I'll say, that's the price. Would you like to go ahead with that one? Oh. Totally understand. I'm married too. I totally get it. Um, is she available? I could get on the phone and call her. Sure. <laughs> she what? Okay. Yeah. What's her phone number? <laughs> what's her number? Here's the thing. I want to talk to her. You don't want him calling her. How does the conversation go when the spouse calls the other spouse? No, here's how it goes. Yeah, yeah, honey, I'm here with the electrician. Um, our panel's bad. We need smoke alarms, and we need to rewire our whole house. Um, it's $38,742, and all you hear is blah, 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 somebody flipping out on the other end. <laughs> you, don't want, you don't want them talking to them. You want to talk to them, and usually they'd love you to do it because they don't want to be the bad person either. So then I'll call the wife, but now once I get on the phone with my, the wife, I have to rebuild the whole value from the time I arrive, and I have to get all the way to here. I'm not even going to talk about it yet. So I would get on the phone and say, hey, Mrs. Jones, I'm Kent, the electrician with service today. How are you doing today? Oh, doing good. Well, when I arrived, you have some outlets not working your house. Was that right? Yeah, their outlets are working in the living room. Yeah, that's what your husband said. So what we did is he authorized me to go ahead and run a diagnostic. And what that did is, and I'll explain the whole diagnostic, and then I'll explain my findings, and then I'll explain the safety items, and then I'll go through my sheet. But now I'm on the phone with her. I have to rebuild my value all the way back up again. Okay? Don't just get on the phone and be like, yeah, well, I gave three options. Uh, the first option you got to rebuild the value all the way through again. And I know it sucks, but if you want to sell a big job, that's what you got to do. Now, tell me that you can't get a hold of your wife. Okay. Yeah, I tried. She, she doesn't answer. So, uh, remember, I got outlets hanging all over. My tools are spread out. Outlets are hanging out of the wall. Panel covers off. Like, this isn't just a pack up and leave situation. Don't put any of those outlets and switches back in the wall until this is figured out. Oh, okay. How many bids are you going to get? <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, I could probably do it for half the price. I got a whole bunch of used outlets and switches that I ripped out of somebody else's house. You want me to put those in? I mean, I could be cheaper if you want, but I don't think that's what you want. So if I can't get a hold of her, and I just say I want you to forward it this way, and put the deposit there, and I talk to her, and it just, the panel finance is failing me for it, are we able to cancel, and do I get my money back? So... If this is an actual role play, I would say, we can do anything you want, Mr. Jones. I'll do anything you want to do. But he, the one thing I can't do is I can't leave all these wires and everything laying out and all these outlets pull out of the wall. So let's go ahead and at least do the one circuit restoration. Let's get this one taken care of. All right, so we know that's done. And then which option do you think you'd want to go with then? Okay, great. And just, just really quick out of curiosity, I mean, you probably, you probably know your wife better than anybody. If she was sitting right here and she had all four of these options, which one do you think she would pick? Uh, 
That's why you're doing the fourth option? OK. Do you think that's the one she would want? OK, great. So let's go ahead and do half down on the four. I'll redevice this circuit. And then when would be a good time for me to come back to complete the rest of the work? Uh, that I do have to OK. Sure, you can. I'm just, our schedule gets filled up really bad. I need to build urgency now. I don't want to leave this house without an install date. So our schedule gets filled up really fast. I hate to have to push you off, especially being a great customer and everything. Worst case scenario, when do you think like the furthest out this would happen that you could, that you could do it? Saturday. Next Saturday? We generally don't do installs on Saturday. Is there a weekday we could come out and do it? Uh, let me call the office and find out. Call the office. I actually have an opening on Wednesday if you'd like me to come out on Wednesday. Yeah, if you need to change it, absolutely call in. Yep. Boom. Now I got half down and I got an install date. And worst case scenario, he cancels, but he's at least going to pay for a one circuit restoration and a diagnostic today. Worst case. But if he didn't have this fourth option, And he's literally like, I don't know. Like, I don't want to make this decision. I can't get a hold of my wife. So let's go ahead and role play that. So which option would you like to do? I guess for right now, I don't know. Um, let's just go ahead and like, fix the circuit that's having the problem. Okay, so you just, you just you want to do the, the number three? Yeah. Okay, great. I just got three smoke alarms that I went to God otherwise because I said the three instead of just the one circuit, right? So I would say go ahead with that, right? But tell me like you just can't, you, like you, ha it's too, you have to talk about anything over $1,000 with your wife. I mean, listen, she has my car jacked up nicely. Okay. So if you can get it at $1,000, then I'm, it's all good. I understand. Yeah, I understand. Um, so let me ask you this. Um, you probably know your wife better than anybody. If she was standing here, which option do you think she would choose? Probably the one. This one here? The, this one? Okay. So you're saying you think she would do it, and that's the one you want to do. I like to spend money, so. Yeah, okay. That's why I got my credit card stamp. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I totally understand how that works. Okay, so if you already know your wife wants to do that, and you want to do that, why don't we go ahead for this one here? And um, just let's just get it taken care of because I can't leave these outlets hanging out of the wall. You probably don't want them hanging out of the wall. So how much is the um, Yeah, I can figure that out for you. I would give them whatever that number is if he asks. So what's the difference between that and the ones at Home Depot for like fifteen Yeah, that, that's a great question. So the ones at Home Depot are generally just take. Yeah, they'll get you the cheap fifteen dollar ones sometimes, but but here's the thing. An example is the most common house fire is a lint fire in the dryer. And your dryer is in your basement. So right now, if you were to get a lint fire and you had a smoke alarm down there, you would hope it goes off. But are you going to be able to hear that smoke alarm all the way up in the third floor? So, what's the between that and this? so my system picks up on it and then it sends a signal out wirelessly to let all the alarms in the whole house so you can get out. It also has carbon monoxide technology built into it, and it has a 10-year sealed battery, so you don't have to worry about them chirping in the middle of the night, getting up there on ladders, changing them, all that kind of stuff. And, and a three-year warranty. warranty, good job, yep. And, it's, and there's a three-year warranty, so if they do malfunction or they do chirp at whatever point, we're gonna come out here and fix or replace them at no extra cost to you. And say that again. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'd be happy to talk to her. All right, great. Yep, I'll take care of that right now. If your office says you can. <laughs> All right, does anybody want to do any other objections with me?
issue of any of these options without you know discussing it first. Sure. Yep. And um, I, already, I already tried getting hold of my wife, and you know she wasn't available. So oh, sure, sure. Yep. Uh, at this point, we're just gonna have to put it from memory. Okay. Um, so if your wife was sitting here right now, what options do you think she would pick? This is our first house. We've never actually had to make this decision before. And I'm okay. going to be honest, we've known you for so long. Mm -hmm. uh, as we've only been married two years, I, I've known my wife you know, for quite a bit. But as far as like making like a big decision, she hasn't sure. had to make that many. So I don't really know which one she's going to want. Okay. Yeah. No, I can say that that's difficult. So, um, so what, what would you like me to do? Because I, I can't leave the wires hanging out of the wall. You don't want me to leave wires hanging out of the wall. Um, what, what do you want me to do with that then? Yeah, let's just, let's just put them back in. I mean, uh, fix the ones that you obviously saw on there. I, I realize the rest are all backstabbed. Um, yeah, I mean, could you just fix the ones that look bad or did they all look bad? Yeah, unfortunately they all, they, they're all bad. They're all wired. Bad. So on this circuit, there was ten devices on this circuit. Okay. What would it be just to replace the ten devices? So that would be a one circuit restoration, and so I can give you an option for that. So I would do a four, and then I would do diagnostic one circuit restoration. So that would be the option there. So would you like to go ahead with that one? At least get this one taken care of. Yeah, I'll give you a copy of all these. Yeah, sure. And I'll tell you what, if you wanted to do anything, we can take that money you spent here and apply it towards any of these other options if you want to go ahead with any of those. Because they're all included the same work, so I don't care. Okay, yeah, sure. Let's go for it. Sounds great. Yeah, well, so which one would you like me to fix? Well, that, that's the thing. They're, they're all broken. All the connections are bad. There's, there's not just one. They, they all need to be replaced. Um, well, because they're all wired, I don't know which one it is because they all have bad connections. So if, if you want to just tell me which one, I can change it, but I can't guarantee that one's the one that's going to fix it. Yeah, yep, I, I tested them, and all the connections are poor connections. They all are loose, and every one of them is bad. So I, I can't tell you exactly which one it is. And again, this is why we don't do it hot. This is why we don't do it hot, you guys, because you would have all buckled in this scenario and been like, okay, it's the one right here. No, fuck that. What? Yes, yeah, circuit's still off. Wires are hanging out of the wall. Tools are spread around the floor. We got to fix this now, man. Now, what if you turn the circuit on and it's just miraculous? It's finally working, like you said. I, it, it might, but then when I push it all back in the wall, it might stop working again. Warranty because we didn't do anything. Yeah. There's no warranty. It worked up until this point. Why is it? Why would it be bad from the very beginning and work all this time? And now you're telling me that they're all bad. That's that's a great that's a great point. I I totally appreciate where you're getting that. But again, remember when I explained earlier that they expand and contract? So these connections actually expand and contract with heat and cold. And so they start wearing out and the connections go bad. I mean, I can sit here and guess which one it is. But if it's not that one, we'd have to do another one and another one and another if they one. That easily, why would they make them like that? What's that? If they could have made that easily, why would they make them like that? That's I agree 100%. Point. I don't think they should make them like that. But I'm not the manufacturer. What we need to do is just install them properly so we don't have to worry about it. So would you like to go with that one? See, answer the question, ask for the sale again. Answer the question, ask for the sale again. If they make a statement like my friend here at the end did where he went on his rant, that's a statement. Your prices are ridiculous. That's a statement. You don't need to answer. Turn your head puppy, puppy dog. Hmm. So what you're saying is you want me just to put everything back the way it was and not fix anything? Well, it wasn't broken before you got it. <coughs> so when you put it all back, it should be working. Okay. Except that one that wasn't working. Okay. 
Uh, possibly, that could possibly happen, um, but when I put these wires all back in the wall, it can even make the connections worse than when I pulled them out because they're so loose in there. Yeah, I pushed everything back the way they were, yeah. But I, I didn't install the wires you have in your wall. So if I did the original install, this would be my fault, right? But the wires in your wall are, are your wires. So I just pulled them out so I do my testing. And if I put them all back, it might work. Back to what I said at the beginning, they were working before you got here. They should still be working. Uh, possibly, yeah. yeah. Well, let me ask you a question. If I were to put everything back in the wall and all of those outlets were working and that one still isn't working, would that make you happy? Yeah. So me coming here today, not fixing anything and leaving would make you happy? No, me not paying that price that you just said you were. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I understand. So let me ask you, if we just do this one circuit, this one circuit is um, 1366, and then we can get this whole circuit taken care of. And you don't have to worry about them working, not working, because I'm going to warranty them for three years that they're going to keep working. And you're going to have fire guard protection. Wouldn't that be a better solution than just leaving them all unknown how long they're going to last? No, because the circuit is working and the outlets are working. <laughs> so, so in our electrical system, remember I said that the circuit is part of the outlet? Yeah, sure. Okay. So I would say, you know, it's going to take me as long as it takes to redo every connection properly and to make sure this thing lasts as long as it possibly can. But I'm going to also warranty it for three years that this is going to happen. And then I'm also going to be installing that fire guard protection in your panel to also protect this whole circuit. So I'll be taking care of all that today. You don't unless they ask. Oh, yeah, I'll be like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm not quite sure. I'll get it done as quick as I can. I may have to run and get some extra parts, possibly, if I need to, but wholesalers right down the road, so it won't take too long. Mm hmm. Yep. Well, I'll tell you what, I would be calling the company before he calls the company. No, with him in front of me. Here's what I'm going to do. I'll say like in that scenario with the gentleman in the back there, I would say, how about this? I can see you're upset about this. You're getting really upset about the price. Um, I can't change the pricing. I, I don't make the pricing. I'm not the boss, so don't shoot the messenger. I'll call my service manager. Maybe there's something we can do. If I can get this whole circuit restored, how much do you think you could put towards that? I'm asking you. Oh, you want me to do it? Yeah. $1,000? <laughs> okay. Uh, now, I can't promise you they'll do it for that, but I'll call and ask. Um, assuming they say yes, would you go ahead with it then? Okay, so now I'm going to call my service manager, my owner, whoever, and I'm going to say, hey, I'm here sitting here with Mr. Jones. He needs a one-circuit restoration. It's 1366. Um, he only wants to spend $1,000. Is, is there anything we can do? And if I was your manager or owner, I would be like, I would try to calculate what like 20% off would be and try to get it up to like 1100 or 1200 or I would say, um, it, there, and it has to be a reason we discount. Owners and managers and technicians, we have to have a reason. It's not just to get the price down. 
So the reason could be because you're a brand new customer, we want to prove to you that we do great service and we want to be your customer for life. So for this time, we will go ahead and do this. Just know in the future, we can't discount like this. We aren't like this. Or because you've been such a great customer with us and you've done so much work with us in the past, we want to thank you and for this time we'll do this, but just know we can't discount like this all the time. Whatever, there just has to be a reason we discount. We don't want to discount just to get a job. Because then the customer is going to think they can do this all the time every time they call us. All right? And to me, as an owner, I have an electrician standing in the house. His truck's there, his tools are out, and all the outlets are pulled out of the wall. I'm going to turn down a $1,000 ticket when all he has to do is, he, half the work is done. We're already there. The tools are there. Wires are pulled out of the wall. Like, it's not going to take that long. So I'm probably going to go ahead and do it. So your question was, what if they call the company and yell? You should call the company before they call the company and yell. Any other objection role playing you want to go through? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you're recommending an arc fault panel, obviously. Now, with that pricing included, obviously, if you have shared neutrals and stuff like that, and the arc faults trip each other out when you're testing your house, flipping switches, you know, things like that. Do you go over that, like, when you present the arc fault panel and stuff with them, that there may be additional charges, you know, tied to that beyond, depending what happened? You can. There's two ways to go about it. You could either give them the disclaimer up front and say, you know, we're going to be redevicing your whole house. So if there's a problem with the devicing, we're going to catch that. Yeah. However, we're not replacing all the wires in your whole house. So there is a chance that we hook these fire guard breakers up. They could find a problem buried in the wall somewhere. That's a possibility. Right. You could do that. I like the surprise approach. Okay. Mr. Jones, it's a good thing you bought these breakers. One of them's actually already finding problems in the wall. So for some reason, this circuit has bigger issues. And what I would like to do is run a diagnostic to figure out why those are happening. And then I would sell them a fire guard diagnostic after I did it. I like the surprise approach. If you want to feel better giving them this claim up front, that's fine. Would you still offer fire guard, fire guard protection uh, if they have an obsolete fire um, if you can get, If you can get them. You can bank them as an option, but I would for sure be giving them an option on a new panel. Okay. Yeah. And if they choose that one, Alan, if they choose one to put fire guard breakers in an old, outdated, obsolete panel, after they pick it, just be like, now, I'll go ahead and do that if you want. Just know that you're sticking a lot of money into that really old electrical panel. It probably... Yeah, it would be best to change the panel to a new one if you're going to stick that much money into it versus installing this much technology and money into an old, old panel. And I would try to talk them out of it. Um, okay, so another thing is, let's say that there's a three, like an install call. We did a diagnostic, so they didn't have any things broken, right? And our last option is a circuit restoration and install wire three ceiling fans. You can do the same thing with an install call because they paid you to do the diagnostic, right? One thing I've noticed is that people run, technicians run club inspections or install calls. And there are some technicians who do a very good job. They'll sell whole house re-devices on an install call without this process. And I always kind of freaking amazed me. I'm like, you got a guy who wanted to put can lights in their house to do a whole house redevice? That's, that's pretty damn amazing. But you can also upset customers because you'll get bad reviews like, call this company out to install recess lights and they wanted to charge me $30,000 to rewire my whole house and all I wanted was eight can lights or recess lights. But the beauty part is about selling a diagnostic or a QCA or whatever you want to call it, they can't get mad because they're paying you to do it. That's the other beauty part. They can't get mad. Not only do you have a way to get yourself out of a situation where you have an arc fault breaker tripping after you install it, 
They can't get mad if you propose this $38,000 job when they only wanted one ceiling fan installed in their bedroom because they paid you to find out this information. You can't get mad at somebody when you pay them to do it. Do you see the benefits of proposing diagnostics and or QCAs on an install call? Because it literally turns them into a repair call, which most of you probably like running repair calls more than install calls.